Most plant owners know that, since sunlight is a necessity for flower growth, that the pots should be set near a window or skylight so the plant is never at want for these tasty rays. Someone neglected to tell the homeowner of Light the Flowers this. So now it's up to the player to use the magic of reflective surfaces, i.e. mirrors, to make sure the flowers get the sunlight they so richly deserve. Puzzle fans should be familiar with the style of game on offer here. Instead of 90 degree angled mirrors and lasers, we have rotatable mirrors and sunlight. Not only does the sunlight need to reach the plant or plants in the room so that they can charge up and be healthy, but for a higher score, the sun needs to pass through three stars hanging around each level as well. One interesting aspect here is that the sun is multi-rayed. Usually traveling in beams of three, a mirror on the edge can deflect one of these beams off for a star or a plant, while the other beams travel in their original direction. The complexity slowly increases as you have more mirrors and plants to deal with, and later on color plays a part as well, with only certain plants being affected by rays of a certain color. As this is going on, the presentation should delight with its bright, cheery plants and sparkling rays. Although the satisfied hum of the plants upon gulping up sunlight sounds too much like a creepy Mickey Mouse for our liking. While the progression is slow, and the concept never really flourishes, Light the Flower takes a well-established puzzle trope and creates an enjoyable experience around it. Not the greatest buy for puzzle solvers, but most players should find something endearing about these plants and their reflective plight. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.